us that would like to become more active. It's obviously a major part of any weight loss plan and can increase your energy. The problem is not everyone knows where to start. Mike Ewald is here today along with John Five from Peak Performance. They have ideas for us if we're getting into a running or walking program. Guys, thanks for coming in. Jim, thanks for inviting us. Okay, before we start, obviously you want to consult your physician if you are not active already to make sure that you're going to be physically active. But guys, walking and running are two great ways to get back into the game if you've been on the sidelines for a while. Talk to me, Mike, about some of the ideas that you have for people who are not active right now. Well, the most important thing is to have a commitment to it. Uh, jump into it and know, have a plan to, to follow. Uh, an easy plan that we tell people is uh, a 5-1 program when you're kind of migrating from walking program into a running program where you'd walk fast for five minutes, run for one for a couple of weeks, that type of thing, then migrate to 4-2, walk fast for four minutes, walk for two, or run for two, I mean, and then you can see over the course of several weeks to a couple of months, you can actually migrate from a walking program into a running program. That's a great piece of advice. Now, talk to me about the physical side of this because I think most of us who, you know, run for a while, maybe we've been doing it for six months or so and our knees and legs may be starting to hurt again. Is that a sign that we need to change out our shoes? How often do we need to do that? Well, Jim, our average is 300 to 500 miles on a pair of shoes, okay. but it's really important that you get the right shoe. And that doesn't mean going to a place and paying $30, $40 for a pair of running shoes. It right. uh, doesn't have the cushioning that you need to take that impact away. So you get what you, you start for, you're saying. Absolutely, you start with a good shoe. Okay, start with a good shoe, because that's really the only piece of equipment. And I think that's the appeal also when we talk about the fact that anybody can run because you can do it just about anywhere. Is it better to run on like a track that has some absorption? Is it okay to just go around on pavement? Uh, there's discussions in both ways. Um, there's no doubt on these tracks these days are high-tech tracks that are softer. But I mean, a lot of people like to hit the road, get out there and see a different environment all the time. Um, and running on the concrete surfaces, which are a lot of in Omaha, it's best to get fit for the right pair of shoes. Right. So, are we seeing more or less as far as people uh, taking up running as a form of their exercise? Well, it's funny you would bring that up, Jim, because I was in Minneapolis over Memorial Weekend and I was so shocked at how many people out there were walking, jogging, biking, as opposed to Omaha. Granted, it's a bigger city, but, right. uh, but we are. In our store, we are seeing more people that are first-time runners and, and seeking advice. That's a good idea and a good place to start. Hey, anywhere you can go to get good expert advice, that's the place to go. Peak Performance, one of those here in Omaha. Guys, thanks for coming in. The 5 to 1 is a really good program to remember. We appreciate it. Let's turn things over to an expert when it comes to running and forecasting. Andrea Rich has a I get my shoes at peak performance, so that's a good start. As we look